Uber is one of the most stressful parts of my life. It is, as a brown guy, every Uber, I take them all the time and the same exact thing happens to me like five times a, a week where I, I call it and then it says Khalid is on his way. It's Khalid five stars. I go, oh shit, all right. Khalid, here we go. And he shows up and then I get in the back of the, Uber, the Toyota Camry, I close the door. And then the same thing happens, he, I get in and he looks at his phone, he looks at me, he's like, Ismail. Like he says my name's super Arab. He's like, Ismail. We have, we have secret letters, we're evil, anyway. Um, but he says that to check me, just to make sure that I'm not actually Puerto Rican somehow. Like he just says that, just Ismail. And I'll be like, yes, yeah, salamu alaikum, what's going on, Khalid? He gets excited, he's like, oh, I'm a salam, He gets so excited. And, yeah. And we can all accept at this point in the app's history that Uber, you're gonna have to have some small talk, right? There's gonna be some, maybe you'll try to avoid it, but there's gonna be some small talk, which is fine. The only issue is that <laughs> Arab to Arab small talk gets dark fast. <laughs> I don't know if you know the Middle East, it's not happy right now. Like, that is some, in 30 seconds, it is zero to genocide. It is dark. <laughs> Cause I get in the back of the car, he's like, it's my I'm like, hey, Khalid. So I'm like, I'm gonna up. And then inevitably he's like, what are you from? And I'm like, uh, Syria. Aww. And then every, yeah, every time, every time, yeah, exactly. I go, I go, I'm from Syria. And then every time without failing, I go, man, what happened to your country? Fucked up, man! Oh, President Bashar al-Assad is an evil man for what he did to the innocent Syrian people. Allah, God, will curse him for a thousand years for what he did to the innocent Syrian people. Allah will curse him and his children and his children's children's blood will soak into the most of the earth for a thousand years. The Chinese girl who's also in the pool is like, I'll just get out wherever you want me to be. I don't, I don't need to be a part of this moment you two are having. I'm like, Jennifer, you are in this with us. Jennifer, you have to experience this with me. And then I'm, I'm an idiot, because every time that happens, it, oh, it happens, it's gonna happen tonight. Every time it happens, I'm a fool, and I ask him, where he, I'm like, well, where are you from? As if he's gonna be like, oh, I'm from the cool one. There's not a cool one. There's not like a fun Arab country. I'm from Weedistan. There's not like a chill. No. I ask him, I'm like, well, where are you from? And he's like, oh, I'm from Yemen. And I'm like, what happened to your country? Fucked up, man. Like, he just goes like that forever. The Chinese girl dies. <laughs> I'm not even really from Syria, is the funny part. Uh, like I'm ethnically Syrian, but my, I'm, I grew up in the South. I'm from Florida. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Uh, Florida. I've heard every joke. Yeah, Florida's just worse than Syria. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you guys. Nah, nah, fuck that. Everybody shits on Florida. You guys never even set foot in the state. Yeah, it sucks, but you gotta live there. You gotta experience that shit. The worst thing is other Southerners shit on Florida. Other Southerners give us, there's Southerners in this room who hear me call myself a Southerner and you're like, nah, you ain't a Southerner, buddy. You a Floridian. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Fuck you. Nah, dude, you ain't from the South. You from Florida, it's a little bit different. Why? Why? Why is it different? Cause you got Cubans. That's the reason. <laughs> Too many Cubans for it to count. We got biscuits. We got cheese grits, come on, man. I've had a dude from Kentucky come up to me like, hey, dude, you're not really from the South, by the way, you're from Florida. I'm like, bro, you guys weren't even in the Confederacy. You didn't even have slaves, motherfucker. I'm like, what am I defending? How, how did I get there? Guys, that's it for me. Keep me going for the show. Thank you so much. I miss my winter. Appreciate it.